I mean, when we've had transactions that we've arranged syndications for, and this is really infrastructure projects or power projects, energy projects, and we've brought in banks that are very interested in working with us. Our partners are across the world. We have strong correspondent banks. We work with them and with other banks as well in the market as well. We have some very good relationships, so we work with them to, to, to deliver um, um, financing that is, you know, the requirements of which are quite big, yeah. Mm. Well, evidently, when you're on a growth profile, you're always perhaps in, in demand, and that's something that you probably need to look out for. But I think that we, we're very confident that we have a different strategy and it's a very strong bank and um, I, I, I believe that we have a lot going for us and uh, it's, it's something that evidently when you're growing it, it is there but we know where we're going and we're quite confident that we, should, we will achieve uh, our strategy. I think there were some uh, reverberations across because you know we work with banks that are correspondent banks in in in, in Europe and, and and in America, and so I think that there were questions about Africa from their perspective because obviously where you put your money then becomes very important. So there were issues around that, but we didn't really see much shock at all. Um, I think that they work with banks based on um, the outlook and they were confident with us, so we didn't have as much a shock as perhaps maybe other banks might have had because we had strong relationships and our credentials were actually quite good. So um, from their perspective there was a shake-up for Africa but from Ecobank's perspective it was very well managed and I think we're quite, we, were, we came out of that quite well. <laughs>